am veteran of countless raids against the civilized peoples of Corvair. Came to Zendrik only to die by your hand. is quiet in the lower decks. The crew is still asleep. With enough care, you can keep it that way. The hatch to the mine bay looks like it requires some kind of crest to unlock. It's likely secured somewhere else on this ship. From bays like this, the Droam fleet has deployed enough mines to stop all shipping in Stormreach Harbor. If you can get past the Kobold engineers, you can find a way to deal with the mines. This is where the crew eats, a testament to the brutality of the monstrous Droam. The snores of sleeping crew come from below. With enough care, it may be possible to sneak past them. The hatch to the mine bay looks like it requires some kind of crest to unlock. It's likely secured somewhere else on this. From here, the Vengeance uses a complex system of rails and pulleys to deploy mines into the water. Alert Kobold engineers keep watch over the equipment. Even at this, this panel controls the detonators on all the mines from the Vengeance, both those already deployed in the water and those still here in this bay. The crew of the Vengeance has been alerted to your presence. Their last meal has made the crew drowsy. Some of them have fallen asleep here rather than returning to their bunks. You can hear the snores of the Bloodlust's crew from the deck below. They still have no idea you're here. The hatch to the mine bay looks like it requires some kind of crest to unlock. It's likely secured somewhere else on this ship. This is the Bloodlust's mine bay, where Kobold engineers tend to the equipment. You will need to sneak or fight past them in order to perform your sabotage.
Alarms ring through the ship, waking the crew of the Bloodlust. One down, two to go. Just one more Droam ship to send to the bottom of the ocean. All the mines have been detonated, and the mine layers are sunk. You have broken the Droam blockade of Stormreach Harbor. <laughs> 